Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a match week 19 predictions for the English Premier League 2020 with Tanush, which is a Chelsea fan. And I'm an Arsenal fan of football. Okay, so basically we're going to be predicting... Sorry guys if I accidentally say soccer once or twice, but I mean football, because yeah. we are from Australia. Yeah, so basically um the first one... Is, um, okay, so let's go to the Fulham game. No, I think I think Chelsea will win three 0 I think a comfortable. I win. reckon yes. I reckon Chelsea will win three zero too. Yeah, because they 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 this is the game to like get some confidence back for the players yeah. because the manager hasn't been playing them in the right positions. Like you have to play Werner as a a, a striker, and I'm um, is Habits injured or something. Let me check. No, Harvest is playing. It's just I, I don't I don't think Harvest is injured. I just reckon we're just resting. But I don't think I think Lampard thinks he's not playing well when Lampard is the reason he's not playing well. Yep. Okay. So, so who just West Brom? You have to go with the upset with West Brom to win. Come on. Yeah. Nah. Uh, look at their form. Scroll down. They're in like nineteenth, I think. Yeah, but like they, that was at the no, start. No, but they, they're actually good at a way like. They concede way too many go goals at home, like three three draw against Chelsea, like a four nil defeat. Yeah, but Chelsea, come on, West Brom, who um, like, uh, playing with Chelsea was really good back then. Yeah, I I think that it will be a a draw because Wolves haven't been good lately, and um, West Brom have been pretty bad as well. So like, yeah, I think I reckon it will be. A, you reckon a draw, right? Yeah. I reckon a one one or draw. One or draw. So next day is West Ham as Burnley. I reckon or Burnley. I I reckon it's gonna be. Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, I I reckon it'll be. I I reckon it'll be a draw. But I reckon that this game will also be a draw. It'll either be nil nil or um. 1-1. One, one. I think... I, I'm going to go for 1-1. One, one. I don't think it will be goalless because they've got some good strikers, both teams. So, yeah, I reckon it will be a draw. Uh, Not being too biased here, but, like, Burnley don't have, like, very good players. So, I reckon I West Ham... West Ham's lineup is stronger. Yeah, I reckon West Ham could win. Well, like, if Antonio doesn't play and, um, like, Tyrone... Like, Tyrone plays for Aston Villa, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So let's go to Leeds United and Brighton, which will be, I think it will be interesting actually. I reckon I think, let's just go Leeds United two one. Yeah, Leeds United for a two nil win. Two one. I'm going with two one. Yeah. Let's do Ashton Villa versus Everton. Let's go with a Ashton Villa win. Yeah, Ashton Villa win. I reckon. Look two at... five zero. I reckon Ashton Villa. I don't That's reckon 5-0. Totally I reckon 3-1. Because... I reckon they'll win 3-0. Let me tell you a reason why I reckon they'll win 3-0. Yeah. Ashton Villa will cause a major upset like the Liverpool game and just keep score, 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 3-0. Yeah, but it depends as well on what their like, um, line-up. Like, they ever, they've not been too strong lately, but I reckon that they'll get a comfortable win against Everton. I don't know why. I'm going to go with 3 one, so Aston Villa for the win. Uh, yeah, yeah. I reckon Leicester City with Southampton. No, oh, Southampton, I reckon, will win this. Oh, I have to tell you why Southampton will win this. Their, yeah. their performance, they bet Liverpool. Their performance is rising. Let's check. Um, yeah, they literally just back. bet Liverpool. So, like, yeah, they, they can prove that they're a really good side. Yeah, Southampton are hard to beat. Like, we... Yeah. I, I, I reckon we'll have to go with the Southampton's upset. I'm gonna. Back I'm not to gonna go with a upset necessarily. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a draw, but it'll be a high-scoring draw. I'm gonna go yeah, for two, two or something. Two, two. Because um, I reckon that like <laughs> shows um Leicester, they have James Madison and Yori Tielemann who can score from really long range, which I reckon will help them. Anyway, let's go back to Sheffield United and Tottenham. I reckon it'll be Tottenham. I think it's pretty easy to say, actually. Sheffield United are struggling too much, in my opinion. 
going to be a Tottenham 2 0 oh. win. Yes, yeah, sorry, Sheffield. guys, if you I reckon it'll be a Tottenham win. Sorry, Blades fans. Yeah, sorry, Sheffield United, but like, like, yeah, you guys have been really struggling lately and yeah, last place. I don't know. I, I don't think that was cool. Manchester United. This, this is, is probably be- the game of the, of the week because Liverpool I reckon and Manchester United won will two. But Man United have a game in hand, so they're on the same Man point. Man United lose a win, so let's predict why they could. They have a couple of reasons they could win. Manchester uh, United really need a good performance. Uh, I reckon that they look at Liverpool's form lately: draw, draw, and loss. So their form has not been good lately, and they are struggling. So I and Man United. In meanwhile, have been smashing it. Win, win, draw, win, win. That's really good. So I reckon that Manchester United will actually like be win. have a crazy win, like three nil or something. Yes. Yeah. No, I think three one. I think Mane might score once because Mane's actually not been too bad lately. So Man City and Crystal Palace. I reckon Crystal Palace will win. I reckon that Man City will win. Uh, no, we have. I reckon Crystal Palace will win. No, um, okay. Give me a couple. I'll give you a couple reasons why. Man City will have to struggle in this game because Crystal Palace. We know them really well. They always lose a consistent, consistent bunch of games for like four or five games and consistent in football. And then after four or five, then games, they draw for. They I win like they the play. next five games. Yeah. They, they, I, 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 I still don't think that they'll lose to Par- Palace, though. I'm probably going to go with a Man City win, but it will not be a comfortable yeah. win. I, think. I don't reckon... I, I said why they could actually win, but I said I'm actually going with a Man City 1-0 victory. I'm going with a 2-1, because Crystal Palace can score. And then I think Man City will score with, like, Sterling and De Bruyne or something like that. So, last game of the round, Arsenal versus Newcastle. Sorry, but I don't reckon Arsenal will win five I in a row. I think it'll be, uh, I don't know. Bro. It, it depends because, like, Arsenal, like, they bought this player, like, 42 million, but then they 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 haven't played him recently. Thomas Party. Yeah, Thomas Party. Okay, I reckon Newcastle will win the um, draw this. It will be a draw. Two, I, I reckon it will be two. another one nil win because uh, I think they they always like to win one nil or lose one nil. So it it will depend on the yeah. I'm rec- uh, I, I I'm gonna go with a one one nil victory yeah. because it's at home as well. So like yeah. Okay. Let's go. I think that's it for the week. Uh, um, two match days actually. So it's a bit of a scramble like. Some games probably will get postponed because of coronavirus because the, uh, it, there's, like, another outbreak, at, in, I think. But, like, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, comment down below your predictions for football match day 18 and 19. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching this video with um, Tanush over here. Yeah, AFL Card Gamer is a great um, YouTuber. Go sub to him. Yeah, same to Tanush. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You know, you will know if you've done it because it will turn blue. And then subscribe if you haven't been already for more EPL content and more. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye. And here's a recap on our predictions.